We've been talking all about shape today, how to create shaping within a garment and how to create actual shapes of pieces. Today I wanted to talk about really one of my favorite trends right now is chevron, where you, sh you create the shape but with sort of a graphic look of color. So I have a couple pieces here, but first I want to show you, obviously I'm wearing chevron um, in this great poncho. And this is the knitted version. It's garter stitch and you can see because of this beautiful yarn too, you definitely get the shape of the zigzag, but it sort of melds because of all of the color variation. Here though, we're gonna work on crocheted chevron. So let me take you to these two pieces over here. So this is a Chevy blanket and it sort of has that Missoni-esque feel that I love, but it's a real subtle chevron. You can see it because of all the colors here, but it's more of a wave. This piece over here that I did is a really tight, uh, very deep chevron. And the reason why these are different is really because of the stitch pattern being different heights and depths. So with crochet, unlike knitting, the different stitches have different heights. That's why you get some fabric that has a little more drape and is loosey-goosey, and some that's really firm, which makes crochet extra great for sculptural items. Here, this piece right here is single crochet. Single crochet is known for being super dense. You use it a lot for amigurumi. It's really great whenever you wanna create, again, a sculptural or architectural piece. You can also see, because it's so tight, I've blocked this, but it still can ripple. Over here, this has double crochets, uh, stitches, so they're higher. There also is an additional just plain stitch in between, so it creates a really nice fluid look. Chevron is created by a series of decreases and increases, and that's how you're gonna get this look. So I can show you really quickly how to do a double crochet decrease that's done over three stitches. So let me go ahead and show you that now. The yarn that I'm gonna be using to show you this decrease is actually a self-striping yarn, but works differently because it's for crochet. And just a little tip for you, self-striping yarns are actually dyed to work in a knitted gauge, not a crocheted. But I mention it here because you will see how the variegated color really does change the look of the shape. So this particular pattern at calls for working through the back loops, and we're gonna work over three stitches one, two, three, and we're going to be double crocheting all three of them together. So you yarn over, wrap, pull through, yarn over again and pull through two. And this is where you get your height. Move on to the next one, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And then we're gone to the last one, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, and then this is, this is where the magic happens. Yarn over, pull through all four loops that are on the hook, and now you can see your decrease is done. That's really all there is to it. <laughs>